I'm going to show you how to create a Poshmark listing from your computer versus your phone. I will show you that in a separate video. When you go over to Poshmark, it usually takes you to your feed screen. And up here in the corner, you see Sell on Poshmark. So you can click that, or you can also do it from inside your closet. That same button is right there at the top. So you hit Sell on Poshmark. And it wants you to upload your photos first. So I am going to find the photos that I want to use. I'm going to list this necklace right here. Um, and you can select the first one, hit shift, and the last one included, and it will include all of them. Little, little secret tip there. Open that up. It has filters for your photos. So let me just show you, there's original, there's Timeless, there's Glam, there's Modern, there's Retro, and there's Vintage. Okay, so you got some choices. I usually stick with the original because it's going to be the truest to color. Now normally I would have gone in and created an eBay listing first and then cross posted from there because that's where I do my photo editing. So these, these photos do look a little dark and I apologize for that, but the process is the same whether you are editing first or just using photos like this, okay? So you can apply and now all my photos are in here. Granted some are sideways, so this is one. No, I guess this is the one that's sideways. Oh, there. It already knew I needed to fix them. Look at that. Gotta love it. All right, they're all fixed. Okay, so we've got our pictures. Now you need a good title. And I'm going to call this a vintage glass beaded necklace. And I'm going to put some of the colors in there. And that's it. I am out of letters in the title. Your titles are much shorter in Poshmark than they are in eBay. So make sure you get your most important words up at the front. And then I need to put a description of what it is. This is a beautiful vintage, oops, gotta spell it right, vintage necklace with glass beads in many in a diamond shape. Colors are purples and mobs. Even though we're going to put the color later, I still like to just clarify it in there for them. And it's also important to put sizes. So 22 inches long, and it's got a screw clasp. Okay, there we go. Then we have to pick a category. This is gonna be jewelry. A subcategory is necklaces on this one. Let me just pop this open so you can see all the categories. You got women, men, kids, home. So depending on what you are listing, you toggle this and then pick your subcategory which is over here. Again, in this, this instance, it's necklaces. You can play with that and look at all the subcategories there are. Uh, it's a single item. You can do multi-quantity listings. If you had, if I had three of these, this is what I would do. Um, and then I will explain that one in a second because I have to hit that in order for it to get to the quantity. 
Um, because if you have it in like small, medium, or large, let's say a piece of clothing, you can put small, quantity one, medium, quantity two, and so forth. So that way you can make one listing if you have a lot of the same things. So I'm going to take that off and we're gonna go back to single item. Now the size for most things that are not clothing, you can just select one size. I put the measurement in the description, so I'm okay with doing one size, or you can actually toggle custom and put 22 inch, okay? If you think somebody is looking for that. Now I gotta go back here. Ah, I've confused it now. Okay, we'll give it its one size. There we go. And then, uh, is it new with tags? Now I'm gonna show you this as well. If you select yes, you're gonna see the question, add this item to your boutique. There are qualifications to have a boutique and the major one is that you would have to have bought this directly from a manufacturer or distributor and been able to prove that. So I just answer no. Um, and this is not a new item, so we're gonna answer no anyway. Um, brand or designer, if you know it, and you'll see um, this pre-fills, let's say I know I have a Michael Kors, it, it's got all your selections here, Michael Kors collection, Michael Michael Kors, Kors, Michael Kors, all that. So put that info in there if you have it, but it is optional, as you can see right here. All right, the color, this is kind of cool because you just go in here, now I know this falls into the purple, and mauve is a reddish, kind of. <laughs> um, I'm debating between purple and pink. Uh, I think I'll go with purple and pink. We'll, we'll do that. Um, yeah, done. So you get to pick two colors, but you can pick just one color. That's perfectly okay. You get down here to original price. If you know the original retail price of the item, uh, you can put that here. If you don't know what that is, just put zero. All right, and then more importantly is the price that you want to list it at. Now, keep in mind, Poshmark does take 20%, and if you go below $15 on an item, they are going to take more than that because their minimum amount they take is $3 and $15 is the cutoff at 20% for that. So with that in mind, you also wanna leave yourself room to do um, closet clearance and the little events where you send, um, you send special offers to your people who have liked your items and so on and so forth. So it's always good to start a little bit higher than you expect to get for the item. So I have this listed on eBay for $19.99. Um, you, you can't do the, uh, the breakout of the change on Poshmark. You have to give it a two digit number. So I don't wanna list this at 19. I don't wanna list this at 20. I wanna leave myself a little room to come down at least 10%. So I'm actually gonna list this at 22, okay? And then it's gonna show you your earnings right here, that if it sells at that price, that's what you're gonna make. Now you also have the ability to put some other information in here, like keep track of what you paid for the item, uh, location in your inventory, SKU, all that good stuff. This is private, this is only visible to you, the seller. So it's just a little inventory management thing. And you hit next. And now it's going to ask you, where do you want to share this? And I have all these set to on, even though I don't send this out to my Facebook timeline, it doesn't work for my personal business model to do that because all of my family and friends would think I was spamming them with all the stuff that I list. So I turn that one off, but I do send it to Twitter, Tumblr, 
and Pinterest because I want it to show up in Google searches. And boom, I list the item. You can see it's uploading the photos, process, and then it's gonna send you back to this page. If you wanna go look in your closet and see it, there it is. It shows up at the very beginning of your closet now as your newest listed item. Uh, if you are wondering what this little blue uh, marker here, that is the cross-posting software that I use. I use List Perfectly. I have a link to it down in the description if you want to look into that more. I find it extremely valuable. And I actually don't create my listings here on Poshmark, as I said. I cross-post over from my eBay listings. But if you are currently not listing things on eBay and using Poshmark, you can just go straight to Poshmark. If you decide to list on eBay, guess what you can do? You can list back to eBay from your Poshmark listing as well as all these other places. So keep that in mind. And I will have a video showing you how that process works. Uh, just watch for that in the playlist. And with that, go be profitable and make it fun. Happy Poshmarking.